So we got married. Yeah, it's happened. It's over. Done. Normal wedding planning. Um, everyone absolutely enjoyed it. Right. And we're not going to go into all the ins and outs. We've got a video that will hopefully go up. We've got photos that are going to be coming and being sent to us and stuff. Uh, but I kind of wanted to talk about like first impressions because it is fresh in our heads. And we had a little bit of trouble choosing kind of what wedding we wanted, what traditions we were going to keep, what traditions we were going to break. Um, so yes, yeah, so I thought it would be interesting to talk about. Yeah, and we pretty much had the perfect wedding. So, you know, it's a pretty good one to go by. I think so. <laughs> Ryan, was it what you expected? It was much better than I expected. Yeah? Yeah. I thought it was going to be some cringy, awful... So I hate attention, so everyone looking at me. I think... I actually told everyone before you came in and walked down the aisle to stop looking at me. <laughs> I just, I hate attention, but it was, it was really nice. Like, it was my favourite part of the ceremony. I didn't think it would be. I could not believe this um, when you told me, because Sir Ryan didn't want to do it a ceremony. He kept saying that that was a bit of the pointless part of the whole wedding. And I kind of agreed a little bit. I wanted to have a ceremony, but that wasn't going to be the highlight of the wedding for me. I didn't want to spend lots of money on that. We weren't going to really decorate it because we had decorated the second venue where our reception was and all things like that. So when we were sitting down having our meal and Ryan was like, the ceremony was the best bit of the day so far. Yeah. Kind of sweet. I was surprised. Yeah, you came down in your dress, had a little metal elf ear on. So Ryan said he made us a joke because we had the concerning Hobbits, Hobbits playing at By our Howard wedding. Shaw. Which, Lord of the Rings music. Yeah, which Ryan yeah. obviously chose. <laughs> he said, as a joke, Oh, it'd be really nice if you walked down the aisle and you were like an elf, because it was like, you know, fulfilling the fantasy idea of a yeah. wedding. Not my fantasy. No, the fan, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like yes. the nerdy fan, yes. like, yeah. Anyway, um, and so I went online and I bought like a metal elf ear from Amazon, which I'll link down below, and put it on just before we walked down the aisle. That was my surprise. I'd yeah. already seen you in your dress, yeah. in your headdress. So yeah. we arrived at the wedding together. Yeah, we did, um, yes. So we're not bothered about stuff like that. No. Bad luck. Yeah. But I thought it'd be a funny surprise. Even if he was like, oh, I didn't really actually want that. It was a joke, which it was a joke. It was a pretty I just surprise. thought it'd make him like happy. Yeah, it was really pretty. I messed up the bows three times. Yeah. Um, everyone laughed. It was, it was funny. Icebreaker. Yeah. I know. That's we, we chose the shortest <laughs> ceremony possible. So it was literally three up. things we had to say <laughs> each. And Ryan still got it wrong. But it was funny and we loved it and it was really small and Everyone intimate. Everyone was lovely. And because it was in the like uh, the it was upstairs of a pub, it was like a really chilled, relaxed atmosphere. Super chill. Yeah. Everyone was chill. Everyone it just was. just went so smoothly. Everyone was lovely. I don't know if that happens on everyone's wedding days, but I feel like like something small could have you know like ruined the day. Yeah. Uh, but nothing did. No. I enjoyed it so much more than I thought I yeah. would. Yeah, I thought it was going to be all stuffy and stressful and. I thought you I know. I don't know if you've ever hosted a house party. Yes. But it's yes. just it's stressful because it's your house, it's your event, and you're worried people are just going to ruin everything. And you know, there's always that friend that cries or family member that has an argument and it's all just ruined. Yeah. But it didn't happen. No. At all. The good things and the bad things. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. There was no ugliness. No, but were there any <laughs> bad things? Or what Like, what were the best things for you that stood out? Oh, we got for good things first. Yeah, okay. So the elf here. <laughs> I feel like the music was played perfectly. It worked so like, well. The guy who did the music, flawless. Oh like, my gosh, he right? He loved the music when we were signing it. He um, was really good, yeah. It was just on well, Ryan's phone on Spotify. Videographers. The videographers, so we haven't seen our video yet, yeah. but my goodness were they amazing. They encouraged people to dance. They were there doing everything, but you didn't really notice the camera yeah. there. They were lovely people. Yeah, my friends tried to scare them, but didn't. <laughs> just talking about their lives, not like jump scaring them. And there was just, quite a few yeah. people that kind of left at our wedding that we had like paid to be there for certain things and didn't say goodbye. But the videographers came over, said goodbye, yeah. um, and they asked if we could send some drone footage because we had obviously done drone footage previously um, while we were setting up the wedding. Yeah, did, they were just really lovely. I did crash the drone. I sent them that footage as well. Oh, did you? <laughs> Straight into a tree. Uh, the drone's fine. It's fine, everyone. <laughs>
Chris didn't kill me for breaking the drone. It didn't break. We're all good. But I did fly it into a tra tree, so that was quite good. <laughs> good things also the caterer. The caterers were, they, were in, they were, so they were yeah. the most expensive part of our wedding, but my goodness, they, made it. they were incredible. Yeah. yeah, they were absolutely incredible. They weren't just caterers, they were basically wedding planners. Especially the lady who ran it all. Yeah. Like, I think she just did everything. Yeah, her she name was Grace. Like, I think yeah. you can say her name, just in case anyone ever does Com work with them again. Can't beat Grace's. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We should have known by the name, shouldn't we? Should we should have, yeah. Uh, and the caterers were called Calm Kitchen. We can, I, yeah, I guess we yeah, can give yeah. all these details now, can't we? Yeah, we can. um, they were literally incredible. The food was amazing. We actually took a bit of a risk when it came to the main meal because... We hadn't tried it. We hadn't tried it. Um, we changed our mind last minute and it was just amazing. The food yeah. is The canapes were amazing. Everyone basically... Loved just the food. absolutely yeah. raved about Especially the food. Especially one of your friends. I think they ate like 30 That was my days. friend Emily. <laughs> I think my dad ate quite a few as well. Yeah, he did. He, was, he actually admitted that he was hunting them out. <laughs> <laughs> he was following them around, taking canapes from them. I really, really like the photo booth. Yeah, it was, everyone loved that. It we was have, called the Photo Booth Guys or something like that. Yeah, Photo Booth Guys. Yeah. Um, we have about 300 pictures from them. Yeah. People loved that. They did like uh, unlimited photos for like three hours. Yeah. They showed up three hours early, set up. And, and I feel like some it. people, it when I told them we were doing a photo booth, they kind of thought, oh, oh they've cheesy, been there, done that, yeah. like... They won't look that good. Also, everyone's had a photo booth previously. Oh, it's quite hard to cram into a photo booth. But yeah. we didn't have that. It was just an old vintage camera with a tablet on the front. Yeah. And then a kind of backdrop and the guy was operating it. Yeah. But it wasn't like a normal photo booth. It was like... Uh... We managed to get, I think, like eight people in a photo. Yeah. It was... And it was just really fun. And I, I think, for me, it was a really good keepsake. Well, yeah, and I think great. for the guests too. Uh, they also did a photo book for us. So we didn't have like a wedding book. So yeah. We normally have people like leave messages. Book. A guest book. Um, but the photo guys brought a book along and got everyone to stick in pictures and write messages, which worked really well. Which we is some, hilarious. We have some really drunken <laughs> messages in that book. <laughs> Were there any bad things? Um, I don't think so. No, I, I guess the weather, which you can't control. Yeah, it was too hot. It was really hot. We did have um, ice lollies. I think at one point it was 32 degrees. Yeah. And we were outside quite a lot and people got drunk quite quickly. Um, I think that's why not as much alcohol was drunk because people were dehydrated. Yeah. So um, I don't know, maybe more shaded areas. Yeah, but which then we I did didn't... originally plan for, but we just didn't get around to I it. I still think it would have looked ugly. Yeah, probably. Uh, big umbrellas or something. Um, I, I still wouldn't have had those. But I guess that was the only bad thing. Like It I was, was literally sweaty. the heat. I was... Yeah. So sweaty. If I had suit. known, I probably wouldn't have had a long sleeve dress on. But yeah. there's not much we can do about that. But then again, way better than having rain. Exactly. And also, um, it looked amazing. Like this, it was light and bright, and I think actually inside was so cool. Yeah. Inside where we had our meal. Oh yeah, definitely. That it worked well. That if anyone did get hot, they could go inside. It was inside like an there. old stone town hall, so it kept cool really well. The yeah, kebab station we had at the evening food was amazing. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Like, the falafel kebab. My sister's husband hasn't stopped talking about the falafel kebabs yet. Yeah. Um, I think he ate like six people. I like... only had one. And it's <laughs> the only thing I regret from the whole entire wedding was not eating more food. But I just think yeah, I was busy and like all over the place. And I kind of just wanted to have fun. And I didn't want to stop and eat food because it was wasting time. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing to say, I guess. No, no. Do you have any advice for people that are setting up their, like do it, planning their weddings? Remember it's your day and just get everything you want and try and make it as relaxed as possible. You know, like if we'd done the whole big long ceremony, or if we'd done a church ceremony, yeah. I would have I wouldn't have enjoyed that. If we had readings. So I think just make sure you're comfortable. I remember my best part. What's your best when part? When you got up and stood up and said said something oh, at the yeah. meal. Ryan wasn't gonna do a speech and I really wanted him to do a speech and I, I kept making a, a joke about it. I know you didn't do I a said speech. Like three sentences. But all he had to do was stand up and I started crying and then my mum started crying and then my nan started crying and then all my friends started crying. I think did Henry say my brother cry or something? I think he everyone cried. He cried. My yeah, everyone was crying. <laughs> And Ryan hadn't even spoken yet. Yeah, and just, then he said like three say, lines and they were the best thing ever. And then everyone was like melting and I felt super awkward and yeah, sat down <laughs> again. That's <laughs> why so I didn't do a speech. A cringy, uncomfortable moments. Avoid them. That's my yeah. only advice. Which, well, unless you want, unless they want them. No, I, that's yeah. what I mean. If there's anything you don't want to do, don't do it. Yeah. It's your day. You know what? The, 
the, the one thing that I have learned is that, so we found this venue, it didn't have a lot of weddings at it, I think it's only had a few weddings, or at least only a few weddings have been documented there. Yeah. And we walked in and we absolutely loved the venue, didn't we? Yeah. After speaking to a few people, I started to worry that it wasn't the venue. I stressed out. I got went to Ryan and went, oh no, maybe we've made a mistake. He said, do you still like it? I was like, yes. And we still went for it. And every single person complimented the wedding venue on the day, saying how incredible it was. I just wish that I had trusted my judgment at the beginning. Yeah. Because we saw the vision and saw what we could have done with it I and how pretty. I know, <laughs> but I just wish that I didn't have that first month when we'd booked it that doubt, of feeling yeah. really quite we stressed make it out. Look yeah, even yeah. though I knew we could, because yeah. that's why we chose it. Um, you can see some photos. I hopefully I've been putting photos up all over the place, and that's kind of what we had in our head. And I'm so pleased it looks so pretty. One thing I have also learnt is to sometimes listen to family members. We weren't going to have any flowers because it's quite an expense. And my auntie Alex does wedding flowers. She does flowers for weddings all the time. So she kind of persuaded us to do the wedding flowers. And did them. By, by doing them. <laughs> and spending a lot of time making yeah. the venue look absolutely incredible. I mean, it's, it took weeks of work for her, which she didn't get paid for. Um, and it looked amazing. I mean, it absolutely looked incredible, didn't it? Even you yeah. said that it was well worth it getting the wedding flowers in. Yeah. So sometimes, sometimes listen to them. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> also, only invite the people you want there. Yeah. That's a big change. We had everyone we loved there. We had 54 guests. 54 people. And I think if you had people that you don't know, or awkward family members, yeah. it's like, why have them there? Um, there was no awkwardness. My friends yeah. were dancing with like... Ryan's aunties and uncles and my family, my mum was, my nana was dancing with my friends, like Ryan's friends were dancing with, like they were, everyone was mixed. So we had two nieces, which were the two two youngest children that came to the wedding. It wasn't really like a child, child friendly wedding of such, but they're our nieces, so obviously they were gonna come. Um, they're five and one? Four and one. Four and one. Five and one. Sorry. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Young, they're young, yeah. <laughs> um, and I don't. I think if we had more guests, like uh, Isla, who's four or five, wouldn't have been able to just like walk around, be in the photo booth with my yeah. friends, be over there with someone else. Oh, she made friends with everyone. Yeah, every single she person. Just wandered off and just, but I feel there was like at one point your friends were sitting around a sofa, and she was just sat in the middle of them. And I think her dad came up to her, my sister's husband, and was like, "Come on, Isla, you leave the big girls alone." And I think she went. Dad, I'm with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> but I just feel like we couldn't have had a wedding that was that relaxed and Isla could just walk around and be with people and be somewhere else and talk to other people about her mum and dad having to like panic where she is. And I think that was only because we had such a small amount of guests yes. at our wedding day. Yeah. If there was people that we didn't really know that well, then that, this, that couldn't have happened. No. Um, and I think that's probably why it did feel so relaxed and so, like literally like a great party. I'm absolutely gutted that I can't just have it all over again. Yeah, but I have said to Ryan afterwards, maybe like an anniversary or something. You said first year anniversary. <laughs> like I'm doing that again next year. You actually said yes when you were, had a drink yeah. and you enjoyed it and you were on the it wedding was, high. It was the best day of my life. I give you that. You hear that? Yeah. This is the guy that didn't want to do any of it. It was the best day of my life. The planning before it, not my thing. No. But if you could plan it... And I not practically did plan <laughs> it. And not involve me. At all. I'd love it. I know, but the only reason I involved you was because I didn't want it to be a wedding oh, no, that you yeah. didn't want. That's fair. But now it's you fair. trust me. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was incredible. People say that it's the best day of your life and you think it's such a blooming cliche and it's not going to be and it's impossible. How can it be? But the way we did it... Yeah. yeah, it definitely was. It was absolutely incredible. Yeah, loved it. Loved every second of it. And now we're married! Uh, photos will be out at some point on all forms of social media. There's a few here, but that's not all of them. We're doing a, an episode of the podcast will hopefully be up today. Or yesterday. It's going to be in the link in the description. Yeah. Uh, talking in more detail about things, because sometimes this is more visual. We want yeah, to show photos. I guess photos we can talk about stuff. everything in the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>